Okay, so we've taken our EEG data and we've removed all the artifacts. Now we're ready to clean up a few things and form our ERPs. So what we're going to do, is, next step, is to re-reference the data to the average of the left and right mads, mastoids. So you go to EEG channel operations. You're going to get a pop-up window. It should be automatically populated. If it's not, you can load this uh, file that has the equations in it and basically this will re-reference it to the average of the left and right mastoids. This is our right mastoid so we leave that channel alone and of course the vertical and horizontal electrodes are referenced to themselves. So it's a bipolar uh, reference so we don't mess with those channels but we re-reference all of the other channels and uh, we're going to create a new uh, data set when we run this, but we're going to go ahead and run this and it's going to re-reference all of it. You can see it's coming out down here and it's going to ask us to save it. This is, you know, you can used to this. Save it, overwrite, and we're going to add to this re-ref is our uh, file name. And we're going to click OK. Now one of the things that re-referencing does, you'll see that we lose our channel location. So now we have to, uh, and this will matter when we're doing topographic maps. So we go to edit uh, channel locations and we're going to get this window you can just select use spherical file with i channels we click ok and you're going to see a channel list come up and it's going to this is our channel label should say fp1 fp2 etc if it does everything's gone well you can click ok and now we have our channels back in our data set you want to have to you want to save it so go ahead and save the current data set because if you don't uh, if we went back to that data file, we would lose the channel. We would lose what you just did by adding the channel locations. So now we're ready to average ERPs. This is pretty easy to do. You go to ERP lab, compute averaged ERPs. You're going to get a window up that comes up. Check your settings here with your protocol, but basically you're going to exclude epochs that are flagged. Uh, part of our artifact detection. I have to move this up so I can click it. So I'm going to click run. Then it's going to ask you to name it. So we're going to name it 101. ERPs and we're going to use the data file. We're going to save it as the same. So click save ERP, same as ERP set name, and you click OK. And it's been created. So we now have our ERPs have done been done, but we wanted to usually we're going to do some additional things. And in this case, uh, we're going to go to ERP operations, ERP bin operations. So a lot of times what we do is we create new bins based on the ERP. So one of the things that we're going to do is subtract bin 1 and bin 2 because we have encoding. So bin 1 is drugs that were remembered and drugs that were forgotten as bin 2. So what we can do is we can create a difference wave that is called a difference in memory wave or it's an encoding ERP. And we can look at that, but we got to create that bin. So we're going to create bin 13. It's going to create the drug difference in memory. It's going to create the fake difference in memory. Here in bin 15, we're just creating um, a difference wave over all of them between drugs and fake drugs. So we can just see if there's any global difference. And then we want our old new differences for bin 16 and 17 for our to examine our old new effects. So we can do this in our bin operations. You shouldn't have to do much here. It should be automatically pop populated. Uh, there will be a file that saves these bin operations. So if it doesn't get populated, you can load it up. But you're just going to click Run and it will create that. Now what you have to do is you have to save the ERP set, otherwise it won't uh, save those bin operations. It's going to say that it already exists. Do you want to overwrite it? And you say yes. Now the last thing we're going to do is we're going to plot some of these uh, ERPs. Uh, I'm going to pause the recording to figure out what we need to plot. Okay, so the plots are specified in your protocol. So the first thing we're going to do is plot the ERP waveforms. So we're going to go to ERP lab, plot ERPs, plot ERP waveforms, and you'll get this window that will come up. First thing is, is we're going to select, we're not going to plot all of the bins. You won't be able to see anything. So we're going to select the bins, and this is specified in the protocol. So I'm just going to have you do five and six. No, sorry, five and seven, and then nine and 11. So basically it's hits versus correct rejections for drugs, hits versus correct rejections for uh, fake drugs in this study. So we're gonna plot those and you can just click plot and it's gonna come up and I'll show you what it looks like. It's gonna be outside of the screen here, but we'll make it 
smaller, so well, I can't make it smaller, but it's taking up my entire screen. You're only going to see a portion of this, but you'll see electrodes with time, and you'll what we're looking for here is does it look good? Does it look like ERP signal, uh, or is it really noisy? Do you have like one line that goes straight up? Anything that looks out of the ordinary, just let me know. If it looks like this, this is pretty good, and that's what we want to see. We'll see more with the maps, but we're just going to eyeball this to make sure that it's looking good at all our electrodes uh, for an individual subject. Next thing we want to do is we're going to plot the scout maps. So you're going to go to plot ERP scout maps. And this window will come up. First thing we're going to do is set the bins. So we're going to do the um, the uh, old new bins for each of the tests. Oh, I'm sorry, you can't see that window. So we're going to do the study phase, study drugs minus fake drugs, and then test phase, drug old new effects, and fake test old new effects. And so we're going to select those bins. Again, this is specified in your protocol. And we're going to do a mean amplitude between two fixed latencies. And then we're just going to do 300 to 500 milliseconds. That'll capture the FN400. 500 to 800 milliseconds, that captures the LPC. And so we'll just spot check the FN400 and LPC uh, for those two tests. We're going to color map. You want to select jet, display, color, bar. And then I usually click uh, the absolute max and min for each map. And it will plot up these maps for you. I'm gonna bring it down so you can see it a little bit better. There we go, and let's expand it, if I can expand it a little bit. Okay, so this top row here is our study phase, and that's drugs minus fake drugs, so you can see there's a good bit of difference there. What we're looking for here is what's the scale? Is it roughly, it should be roughly five microvolts or so. If it's a really huge scale, that suggests there's some artifact that didn't get detected. And the other thing we want to look for is does it look like the FN400? Well, it doesn't here. Does it look like the LPC? It doesn't really look like it here, but uh, we don't know what we're supposed to see in this particular study, so you don't really panic for that. You're just trying to look for anything that looks like it might be artifact or what it looks like. Uh, what's the pattern overall. So that's how we're going to plot those and that's basically it. You'll have some other cleanup aspects. Just follow your protocol.